Flip City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby coming at you on a Monday night. Wait, what? Is it Friday with Flav? No, it's Monday night. Somebody's got a little case of the Mondays. <laughs> yeah, 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 Art beat me to the punch. We do have a case of the Mondays. I mean, for gosh sakes, right? Crazy stuff is happening. Restaurants are closing. Schools are closing. Uh, the grocery stores are sold out. So Art and I thought we'd pop on, do a live stream. We're starting later, actually. Uh, Rose just went to bed. Um, Art and I have been cranking all day long, filming videos, just did a live stream on Facebook with Thermomix. And then we thought, let's end the day with our YouTube family hanging out, because I think people are probably going to want to hang out, decompress, have a good old time, and uh, we have a super chat already. Donna Held. Wow, Donna. 99. Use this towards your bigger house. Uh, thank you. I need that. Do you want your blue light? Art? Yeah, I get the blue light okay. special. Yeah, so. Pardon the, the shake. So, yeah, so here's the deal. We're going to hang out tonight, have fun, make a delicious and easy salmon recipe. Pan seared cocoa and turmeric spiced uh, salmon with butternut squash puree and maybe a simple salad. And actually, um, I'm working with this new Norwegian salmon company that makes the best farm-raised salmon maybe in the world. We filmed a video for them Sorry. earlier today. And it's uh, the name is Moe. And um, they're available starting yesterday on Amazon Fresh. And they gets delivered to your house in 48 hours. So use the link down below. I'm going to tell you about this, but Art has his eyes bugging out right now. Char Troyer. 1990 Char. Super Chat. Way too kind. Thank From you, Michiana. Char. Very sweet. Maggie B's here. Yeah, we got two Harbors, Minnesota. I had to go get the blue light. Yeah, it's all feedback. good. Um, so please leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Now, Maybe let's talk about Amber from let's talk about farm salmon. Someone said, isn't farm salmon bad? No. Good farm salmon is great. Bad farm salmon is bad. bad. Really bad, right? So that gives a bad rap to the industry. But here's the deal. There's not enough wild seafood in the world to satisfy demand. So we need good quality farm raised. Norway is known as some of the best. Now there are videos out there on YouTube showing how toxic Norwegian farm salmon is. That doesn't mean everyone does it well, but this company right here, Moe, is one of the most premium farm salmon companies in the world. And their new line here has 20% more omega-3 fatty acids. And get this, it's never ever frozen. It's fresh from Norway to the US. They process it, vacuum seal it, and ship it out on Amazon Fresh in 48 hours. So at a time when the grocery store is annihilated right now, order on Amazon Fresh using my link down below, or just go to Amazon Fresh, navigate to meat and seafood, and you can get this in 48 hours High quality Norwegian farm salmon, never frozen. We made salmon burgers out of this today. Art, how good was that? Kiko Pepegura, Pe Pepegura gave you $3. Oh, I see that. Use this at McDonald's for a cone and McChicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure probably will do that. Yeah, they, but no, it's not that bad, right? So let's get rocking and rolling. Does Amazon Fresh deliver to Canada? You'd have to check on that, Sonia. I'm not sure. This just launched literally on Monday. So um, I'm not sure about the Canada. <clears throat> Sorry for botching your name, Kiko Pepe Guerra. <laughs> yeah, so uh, there is a lot of Rose is sleeping. Yeah, there is a lot of bad salmon out there, but Norway, the top Norwegian producers are some of the best. I would not work with them if that were not the case. And the fact that it ships to your house in 48 hours and never frozen is sensational. So let's get still going on the butternut squash puree. I want something kind of silky and creamy and sweet, so I have a Beanut squash here that I peeled. Somebody said they've never had salmon and they ask if it's fishy tasting. Um, no, I don't I think it's no. I don't think it's actually very mild and buttery. Very fatty too, especially because look at this art. Look at the marbling. Farm raised salmon is known for being more fatty and it less uh, easy to dry out when you cook it. And this has 20% more omega-3 fatty acids and is very, very juicy. The salmon burgers we made today, how good were those art? They were delicious. Gina Beto, $2 super chat. Whoa. Thank you, Gina. Very cool. So it's been a crazy 48, 72 hours, right? Started with schools closing and then this weekend restaurants and bars. Now there's news that public gatherings of 50 or more people are, um, are not allowed. The grocery stores got annihilated this weekend. I'm afraid they're going to get annihilated again now that you can't... Uh, go to a restaurant. You can't even do like a Grubhub or Uber delivery, I don't think. So I'm worried that the stores are not gonna have enough, which is why I've been stocking my pantry, my freezer, and uh, it's a little interesting to see how things are gonna play out. And I'm also, <clears throat> 
I couldn't find any pasture-raised Vital Farms eggs at the grocery store, but I contacted a farm that normally is at the farmer's market. They do home delivery once a week, and it's $8 a dozen for organic, soy-free, pasture-raised eggs. And it's fresh, local, instead of being shipped from halfway around the country. So I'm very excited about that. And you can contact local farms for pasture-raised chicken, grass-fed beef, and pork, and all that good stuff. Okay, so we're gonna boil this, but first we have to season our water, just like we're cooking pasta with a little bit of salt, all right? And then we'll drop the bee nut squash. I think, should I drop a garlic clove in there too, you guys? Maybe just to give a little essence of garlic? What do you think? Sounded good. Sounded good? To me, if, we'll see what the crowd says. Yeah. If Art says sounded good, that's usually a pretty good sign. Lyra, where is North Kekalaki? You said that last time too, and I don't remember. That's where she's from? That's where she said. Never heard of that. The last two times. Live so, from North Kakalaki. I actually was going to do this with sweet potatoes, but Whole Foods was completely sold out of sweet potatoes. It was crazy. And I'm like, you know what? Big deal. People are saying yes to garlic. All right, let's put... Ah, North Carolina. Okay. Ah. The let's local, put the local two cloves of garlic in there. That way you get the raw flavor of the garlic out. Otherwise, it can be a little too strong, I feel like. Yeah, so... Art and I filmed some videos on Friday at Aldi and it wasn't too bad, but then I went to Whole Foods yesterday and they were wiped out. Not the really big one that Art and I normally film at. They were wiped out, but then I went to Costco and Desi and Rose and I filmed the video and we went to the one in Oak Brook and they had almost everything except like toilet paper and uh, Clorox wipes, but they had everything. But I'm now afraid that the second wave is gonna knock them out again because people can't go to uh, the restaurant. So we'll see what happens. But when you see stuff at the grocery store, get it. And when you have a chance to get very quality farm-raised salmon like this, get it on Amazon Fresh. You have a good concentration of the Flav City fam in North Kakalaki, I've noticed. Are you Everybody's serious? Timing it on there too. So okay, let's make the spice rub for the salmon. So I want it to be turmeric, smoked paprika, thyme, and then I'm going to go into my. Uh, coat closet here, okay. AKA a pantry. the other pantry, and get some raw cacao powder. I'm making a savory smoky cocoa spice rub that I think is gonna be so lovely. And I'll dust it all around the uh, salmon. So a lot of people actually get intimidated making salmon because, wow, there's a plastic spoon in there. That's interesting, I'll use it. Nice. Because wild salmon is tricky. If you get coho or, um, what's uh, another one that's kind of? Yeah, I don't know, what's the other one that's kind of dry? There's coho, and what's the other one, the most popular one? Oh, uh, sockeye. Sockeye, sockeye or coho is very lean, almost no fat, very easy to overcook. If you get wa uh, king, it's very expensive, but it has fat. The nice thing about this is that it's much more fatty and much easier to cook without overcooking it. So let's put a little bit of cocoa powder in there. Let's put a little bit of smoked paprika. Actually, I think that's too much cocoa powder. Wow. Okay, a little bit of... How about Arctic char? Yes, Arctic char is on sale right now at Whole Foods too. I like that too. That's great. Very salmon-like, I thought. It is very salmon-y. It's actually similar to this salmon because it's very, very fatty and juicy too. So cocoa, smoked paprika, turmeric, and dried thyme. A really funky monkey, almost like sweet and savory kind of spice rub that I think once it gets pan seared into the fish, look at the color. It's almost like, looks like soil or something. I think your phone is like showing the stuff in uh, night mode for, for me. And so it looks way different. Oh, funny. Yeah. That's funny, yeah. It's got uh, 99 cents and a smiling turd from Kiko Pepe. Wow, I'll take it, Kiko. Thank you. I can use that at the dollar store. Even the dollar stores are getting hit. So I want the skin to be a little crispy, so I'm storing it skin side up in the fridge, which is drying it out, which means that I want to only season the flesh side with a bit of salt, right? We got another one here, man. Another what? Five dollars, John Ooh. R. Cobb Jr. Oh, John. Thank you so much, a new member. That's Love it, time, man. Thank we get a lot of. Hey, do you guys like that video that we did on uh, Sunday at uh, the Panic Grocery Store video that Desi and I and Rose did? So like, it was totally last minute on Saturday. We were out for a walk, and I'm like, this is crazy. We should film a video so people can see what's going on, because I feel I feel like people didn't want to see our traditional haul videos right now. They kind of want to like 
see what's going on in real life. And people loved it. Sam Whiting says, how much are these grocery stores paying you? Zero. None of them pay me. Once in a while, I'll get a sponsored thing like from Aldi, but that was a long time ago. None of them will pay me because I talk bad about some of the products they carry and they can't have that. So sometimes they'll let me film there, like Whole Foods has, but none of them pay me. So, dust it over here. We got 758 people. Let's share. Let's get some more people on here. What's the best way for people to share it, Bobby? I would say, obviously, there's Instagram stories and Facebook, but coffee is just lunch is a great one. Oh, I don't think you probably want to be meeting too many people for lunch right now or a coffee and a bagel, given what's going on. So how's everyone feeling about the current state of the economy, the welfare of people? I mean, it's kind of crazy, right? We have the corona affecting us in terms of economic, right? Business is coming to a stop. The stock market is literally falling apart. My 401k is trashed right now. Then you have people who are getting sick and worried about that. So it's really a two-prong effect. And I'm still hoping that it's not going to be as bad health-wise as they're saying, but the damage is really done to the economy. So I'm hoping we can somehow get a nice spring back here and there. But... Well... Deborah Hallis just gave you $4.99, and it's her first live chat. Love you guys. Wow. Francia Marte, $2. So we got some generous super chatters. Very. And, and there's more. Whoa. Taleha Howard, $3, with a pair giving you a fist bump, Uncle Leo in jail style. With oh, $3. nice. We love that one. That's a good Sarah one. Sarah Osorio, $1.99. Did Art really go to culinary school? Love you guys. Yes, I did. Yes, he Triple did. College in Chicago. Yes, he did. What kind of program did What's you do there, Art? It was a certificate program, uh, professional cookery. So more on the cooking, more on the savory rather than the baking. But you did it like uh, while you still had, a, still had a full-time job also, yeah, right? Yeah, it was evenings. Yeah, it was a great experience. Uh, so there's also a couple other cuts here. This is called the uh, escalapino cut. It's almost like a steak cut here. But because of that fat, it's so darn juicy. And like I said, 20% more amino acids. If you want to try this out and you don't want to leave the house, it's on Amazon Fresh. So click my link in the description box or search Moe on Amazon Fresh. Try it out. 48 hours it comes to your door. But like I said, this is the only salmon I've ever heard of in the country that is never frozen. Almost all salmon at the grocery store is previously frozen. This is never frozen, so you're gonna have a superior texture, which is crazy. And when you comes to farm salmon, you have to get the best. This is top quality Norwegian farm salmon. These guys do it right. Aquaculture of the farm is top quality. No overcrowding, no antibiotics, no bad feed. If you're gonna eat farm salmon, this is the kind of stuff you wanna eat. And I'm very picky about farm salmon, and this is one of the best out there. I'm, they reached out to me because they know I love farm salmon and they do it right. Gary Bubar, $20. What? OMG, oh, I see Matt that. Reed, $5. What kind of salt are you using, Bobby? Team Art, Midwest Fry. That's right, Bobby. So right Thank now, you all, by the way. right now I'm using Celtic sea salt. I moved away from Redmond. It's a little too minerally for me. It kind of crunches in my teeth. I use two kinds. I use Celtic sea salt. This is a light gray one, which is really nice and flaky. I'll show you. By the way, G63 CAG just gave you $2.99 with a pair of fist bump again. Boom, goes a dynamite. So this is what it looks like. You can find it on Amazon. Or I use their, um, this is their kosher salt. It looks white like it's bleach, but it's not. So that's what I'm using these days. Rebecca Rob, we've been on for 13 minutes and 45 seconds. You haven't missed too much. It's going to be a very easy dinner tonight. We're kind of just hanging out, dealing with COVID-19. Some folks are having buffering issues. Folks, if you're having buffering issues, maybe uh, your internet connection isn't the greatest at this I'm time I'm okay over here, so. So maybe you need to change the quality down a notch so you're not taking uh, too much juice. Yeah, Bobby is from Highland Park, Amber, correct. Um, so are people planning on staying home starting soon? Are you going to work from home? Are your kids going to be home? I feel like people should be home and probably start watching more content, right? So if that's the case... Art and I want to produce more content. SM just gave you $2. SM. Love watching Flav City. We love making videos for you guys. This is what brings us joy. We love making content for you guys. Okay. Let's see here. Um, if you haven't done so yet, please leave a comment down below. Let us know you're watching from. I really, really appreciate it when you guys do that. What about the farm salmon in Whole Foods? Yeah, that's good too. So that's actually Norwegian farm salmon that I like. But to be honest, this is next up. It's a little 
more expensive, but this is even better because of the high quality of the aquaculture. 20% more omega-3 fatty acids and never frozen, which is unheard of. So the one at Whole Foods is good. I think this one's better. Try it out on Amazon Fresh. Do a side-by-side -side and let me know what you think. We have a Texan who heard you say Highland Park and thinks you're talking about a section of Dallas. Oh, yeah, no, not that one. Uh, Illinois. Yeah, not that one. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Amber. She's, uh, her stepdad is from Highland Park. Oh, nice. I love that. Uh, let's see here. California, we got a first-time viewer from Armando. Hey, Ray Farrell in the house. Great way to start the week, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Very cool. Amber sent me a DM. I'm having a hard time keeping up with the DMs just because there's so many people uh, DMing me lately, and I get a lot of emails too. So once that's done boiling, we will blitz it up in the Thermomix or a blender or food processor. Let's get some sweet and savory flavors for that too. Hey, you got a... Oh, my favorite one. Pear, Boom. From Sean Boom. Barnett. Thank Keep you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Shauna. That's very sweet of you. Really appreciate it. Um, so I want to make this kind of similar to my sweet potato mash, meaning I'm going to whip it up with ghee, orange zest, orange juice, a little bit of vanilla bean paste. Rosalind Thigpen, she's on the front lines of the hospital, so I won't be off. Well, thank you. Rosalind. Oh, wow. Go, yeah. Go do your thing. Thank mm -hmm. you for doing that. A uh, little bit of maple syrup. So this will be paleo. We'll do a little bit of cayenne pepper. And let me see, I have the recipe on my blog. So the recipe for this, just do a Flav City sweet potato mash. And you can sub out uh, squash for that. A little bit of cayenne pepper and cinnamon. Oh yeah, see I love this kind of, what I call balancing the line between sweet and savory. So boiling, ghee, zest, juice, vanilla bean, maple syrup, ground cinnamon, cayenne pepper. Beautiful and nutmeg and nuts. Oh, wow, this is, what a good recipe. I forgot about this one. So I'll get some nutmeg here, which is right here. And then we can garnish with uh, some. Brad Parham says that the signs in the seafood section at Whole Foods now tell you which farm they were raised at. Um, farm raised fish. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. And you just got uh, thirteen ninety nine in Canadian dollars. Love catching Ooh. you guys live. Working in Emily. Pandemic, currently making me hungry. Wow. When you're eating, when you're working really hard like that, it's really important to eat very clean food. We talk about this. We just filmed a video today at home about more immune system boosting foods. And when there's a virus going around, you're working hard, you're tired, you have to eat. So you have to boost your immune system in your gut. You don't want to eat sugary foods and carbs. We notice it at the grocery stores, a lot of people go there and they buy like sugar, white bread, bad eggs, Comfort bad milk. Food. And I understand that there's no choice, but there was a choice between that and grass-fed beef and organic. You wanna get the healthier, lower inflammatory, more immune system boosting foods. Mm, I love food. Diana, farm-raised can be good and it can be bad. You gotta get the right one. Yeah, so there's so many misnomers. Listen, I wouldn't work with a company that was bad. Asia has horrible farm-raised practices, and they've ruined it for a lot of people because people think of that, or they think of antibiotics, animal byproduct, poop. It's not true. Like I said earlier, the demand for seafood is so high that there's not enough wild seafood, so you have to get good quality farm-raised. The problem is it's harder to find it. This company, and the one, to be honest, the Whole Foods is good too, but this Norwegian farm salmon from Moi is that next best thing to wild salmon if you're looking for farm because it's high quality, uh, omega-3 rich, and responsibly farmed. There's no garbage in here. It's really, really good stuff. Michelle Ray just gave you a $4.99. I just want to thank you for all helping me to understand how eating right is so important. Started keto and got off diabetic meds, Flav City Rocks. That's what I'm talking about, Devorah see? Devorah Cone, $2.99 with a pear that's giving you a thumbs up. Thank you for that. Thank you all. Keto Paleo can get you off diabetes medication, reduce inflammation, reduce uh, heart, uh, heart, high heart pressure, uh, blood pressure, stuff like that. Very, very, very low inflammation diet. I mean, once you start to do it, you, you realize how important it is. All right, I wanna make sure I don't overcook my squash here. Let's see what's going on. No, it's not there yet. So let's start firing up our pan here for the salmon. And I wanna get it on medium high. So it's done like a literally a 10 minute marinade, but 
most importantly, when you store it skin side up in the pan, like I said, it dries out the skin. So if you touch the skin now, it's dry. It's not wet and slippery like when you get it home. And that's going to crisp up really nicely. So I, I'm pretty stoked about that. And then I will just cook it in a little bit of avocado oil. And those spices are going to sear into the flesh of the salmon. It's going to be lovely. What means paleo? So it's a paleolithic diet that doesn't have any dairy or grains. So basically it's what cavemen used to eat, but it's also a low inflammation, clean diet that makes you feel really good. No legumes. No legumes, exactly. Uh, no refined sugars. Yeah, very important. Let's see. City of Houston is closed. Dining, yeah, same thing here. People are forced to cook. I still think the restaurant should be allowed to do Uber Eats or Grubhub or delivery because some people can't cook. The grocery stores are only gonna have limited stuff. So is anyone else worried that the grocery stores might actually run out of stuff with all the restaurants closed for probably the next two, three, four weeks? So I don't know how that's gonna work. They should let the restaurants take Grubhub stuff and, uh, and have that for delivery. I really think they should. People are asking if your gym is closed. Alicia's gym is closed at least two weeks. No, not yet. And I'm praying to God it's not because I believe working out, you know, four or five times a week is really important for not only de-stressing, but for boosting your immune system. So what's going to happen if everything closes? People are going to stay home. They're going to eat the cruddy food they bought, like spam, uh, sugary treats and cookies and white bread. Sit at home, not work out, watch Netflix and eat bad food. Oh, God, that doesn't sound good to me. Listen, go to the gym, be very clean, wash and shower immediately. I think that's really important. Do what they say, though. <laughs> well, yeah, if they close, you can't go. I I'm going. I'm going to the gym no matter what. And then if I have to, I'll work out here, right? LA Fitness just announced they're closed until the end of April. Are you serious? Ooh, interesting. Dang. End of April? That's a month and a half. put at the end of it, so maybe he meant April 1st. I hope so. That, that wouldn't be good. 66 Whoa, Mexican pesos. 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 That's $3. Bobby's Whoa. sending you three bucks and asking what's your opinion on Alaskan Pollock, western cousin of Atlantic. You know, I don't know much about it, but I believe that if it's uh, wild caught, it's good to go. But it sh I think it's a bigger fish like cod, so it might be higher in mercury. Um, I don't eat those too often. I'd rather have like um, a river fish like uh, perch, white fish, or arctic char we were talking about earlier is really nice too. Okay, so a little bit of avocado oil will go in the pan. And then last minute, I'm going to put salt on the skin here. April 1st, not the whole month of April. Oh, good. So because salt pulls out moisture, I'm waiting until the very last second just to put salt on the skin here because I want that to get seasoned and crispy, right? So pat that down. But look at this, the cocoa, the turmeric, that's going to be lovely. Let's come back here, Art. Pans over medium-high heat. I have about, I don't know, two teaspoons of oil in there. And before I put that down, I'm going to reach over here. I'm not getting used to this, guys. Look, we baby-proofed the whole house late last week. So I'm not used to having all that. So I'm pulling everything. I'm like, why is it not opening? But I got to get used to it. Now, I'll switch with art. Now, to make sure it's hot, put the skin in it. It doesn't sizzle. Take it out. So let's see here. That's good. If it wasn't doing that. I would probably pull it out. When it goes in, carefully push the skin down for five seconds. That way it's making max contact with the bottom of the pan. And if you want to be very safe, tip the oil away from you, put it in, and then let it come back like that, right? Push down. You really smell those spices now that they've hit Immediately. Because when spices hit hot oil, they bloom. And you're basically blooming the essential oils in there What's and making herb? it taste better. Uh, that is thyme. I'm smelling that. You're smelling the thyme? Yeah. Nice. So now I'll take my Spalletti Edigard, put it down, and we'll wait. Very, very easy dinner, you guys. I was thinking about making a side salad, but I'm too lazy. But you can easily... Actually, you know what? I'll do the easiest side salad ever watch. So let's see how this is doing. You want it to be fork tender, but you want to make sure you don't over boil it. Otherwise, and I'm gonna, I don't want to... Matthew dirty. Cartwright just gave you $2. <laughs> nice. Oh, thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Cartwright, your table's ready. What's that from? Who knows what that's from? Somebody's, Cartwright, somebody's got your it. table's ready. Uh, does salmon need to be scaled? Yes, it does. I think Parham was asking that. All right, so this is actually ready. So here's what I want to do, y'all. Power up my Thermomix. 
Anyone, was anyone on the live stream Seinfeld. at five o'clock uh, when we watched uh, making this keto paleo bread? Show this in the meantime. This is a paleo bread recipe that is uh, proofing now with yeast in there. We made that, but we had a good crowd. I didn't know if anyone was on there. We did it on the Thermomix USA page. And Art, before I waste all the water here, I should probably save a little bit, right? Sure. So I'm gonna save. Bonanza. <laughs> Mr. Bonanza. Nice, I love it. Seinfeld friend. <laughs> What's that from, uh, which one? Uh, that's where I think George is not doing a good job negotiating. And so he's gotta go up and see uh, Russell Dalrymple to negotiate. Oh, that's right, the doorman, and, whoops. The doorman, yeah. The doorman. Somebody says. had a good question here. Oh, Brad said, was it as sunny at 5 p.m.? Uh, say again? Was it as sunny at 5 p.m.? It's always sunny in Chicago, just like the TV show. So, let's add it to the bowl here. Oh, Livra says, I need to make the bread for my own French toast. Almost like you were on the, on the last live stream when we were talking French toast. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that. It does slice it, dry it out overnight, and then uh, use it for French toast. Because Desi has a really good paleo bread recipe, but this one uses yeast, and it was so easy using a Thermomix, and we'll be giving away a Thermomix in the next three weeks on my Flav City Instagram. So make sure you uh, follow me on Instagram so you can get the details about that. Don't Amber Griffin says she lives on a military base in Fort Sill, Oklahoma, and everything here is closed except our grocery store. No gyms, no daycares. Wow. Griselda Cruz just gave you $2. Thank you, Griselda. Boom, Griselda. So, Art, look, while it's hot and steaming, give everyone a facial. I think everyone needs to, like, cleanse their pores on a day like today. We're going to take a good heap of grass-fed Thrive Market ghee. Put that in. Then... I'm going to take my orange here. I'm going to zest a little bit of orange here and then add some orange juice too. A little sweetness, a little citrusy. Oh, a smell as yo soon as sweetness. you. Yeah, yo, sweetness. Give it to me. Give it to me. You are my weakness. Any updates on a nationwide release of the cookbook to all Costco's? Uh, crickets, man. I think everything's on shutdown right now. Which is why I'm like, you know what, forget about it. Desi and I filmed a video with Rose at Costco yesterday, a panic shop, shopping grocery video. It'll be out tomorrow or Wednesday. I'm like, I don't care if they get mad at me. I'm doing it. They're not ordering my book, whatever. I'll tell you what's not on shutdown. Laura B. just gave you $5. Christina Davis just gave you $2 and says, restaurants closed in Oregon, about to lose job. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's no good. Yeah, but there should be some relief from the government for that. So I can't imagine they're going to leave people oh, strung sorry, out like that. A little bit of uh, bourbon barrel aged maple syrup from Costco. So Desi and I actually went to the Costco in Oak Brook Terrace and they had a bunch of stuff. And the first scene of the video is hilarious because they were out of toilet paper and stuff. They brought it out, hordes went there. I dove in, I got it. I got the last uh, Kleenex and it was like the happiest moment of my life to actually have, uh, to have toilet paper or paper towels, it was ridiculous. Well, it was not quite the happiest. I've never been so happy to have paper towels. So a little well, bit of... Well, well, have you been this happy? Because back to back, Keely Brennan gave you $9.99 with the number one fair pair. Ooh. Number one fan pair. And right after that, Courtney Morris, $9.99. Wow. Just wanted to say, I love you. Stay safe. Hopefully, Whole Foods and Trader Joe's don't run out of food. LOL. I just made your pork chop recipe with Ooh. Brian Market. Pork was so yummy. Right? Absolutely. Even they're running low on stuff. Thank, Thank you, you for the uh, super chat. I think Trader Joe's got to hit more than anyone else because they have a smaller store. And the videos that I saw on Instagram that seemed the worst were from Trader Joe's. This is, by the way, look at vanilla bean paste. It has like literally uh, a million vanilla beans in here. It does have a touch of sugar, which is a bummer. But Every teaspoon has the amount of beans from one pod. It smells delicious. It's amazing. That and the orange right next to it. I'm smelling a little bit of both of them at the same time. All right, let's check over here. Good combination. So, we'll check our salmon. OMG. Mm. Look at that. So now, turn the heat down to low. Flip your salmon. That's how we get crispy skin, you guys. We dried it out, and we cook it over higher heat. I immediately go down with my splatter guard, and I turn the heat GBD. down to low. That, that's actually beyond GBD. That's really lovely stuff. Then we'll finish our 
Let me double check. I got everything. Sweet potato. It smells delicious, Rebecca. It does smell quite lovely. So I put the vanilla bean paste in there. I put uh, cayenne. Let me put a little bit of nutmeg here. It's actually very fall, very autumnal, very Thanksgiving-ish. You just got a dollar ninety-nine Australian. Ooh, Aussie. Marty Dittmar, yum. Thank you. Thank you, Marty. Thank you. Let's just add a splash of water to get the party started. Do you send your cookbooks to soldiers overseas who are deployed? Um, I don't know. Do I send them? Well, I'm pretty sure Amazon ships there. When it's I an APO, I would think. Yeah, yeah. Well, just like when we. Yeah, sure. I know we did some signed cookbooks overseas, right? It should work. I thought APO is just like sending domestically. So. Yeah. Right. I got to get some more signed cookbooks to send out. Do you guys want more signed cookbooks? It's a lot of work for Art and I, but we can do it. I missed what was on the salmon. Oh, shit. Um, over there. Spice rubs over there. So if somebody just had cocoa powder, could they do that if they don't have cacao? Yeah, yeah, same thing. First time. Cacao is just raw cocoa powder. Wow, I really had to yell to talk over that thing. Well, excuse me, Art. No, I'm just saying... The difference is uncanny. Wow. Look at this art. This is Rose approved baby food. Holy cow. Look at that. Oh my. Rose can actually eat this probably in like another couple months, babe. Maybe minus the cayenne pepper. Let's try. I guarantee it's going to need more seasoning art. Statistically speaking, 87% of the time when you say you guarantee it's going to need seasoning, something happens. Perfect. <laughs> It is. <laughs> I didn't know which way I wanted to go with that. You say it needs seasoning. And it doesn't it is work. really, really good, you guys. Wow. That, once again, search Flav City Sweet Potato Mash on the Google machine. This recipe will come up, and you can use um, butternut squash puree or whatever you want. It's such a great balance of sweet and savory. With that salmon, it's going to be dying. No. So I don't want to overcook the salmon, but the beauty of using a farm salmon like this is that you have more leeway. So do this, next start, check it out. Yeah. I'm gonna lean up the salmon on its side here so all sides actually cook. $1.49 again from Kiko Pepegara. Wow, thank you, Kiko. With the hamburger, thank Ooh. you. So because it has more marbling in there, more fat, because it's farm raised, high quality farm raised, it's not gonna overcook as quick. Now, if I wanna be 100% certain, this is where having all the right kitchen tools come in handy. Flavecity.com slash shop slash uh, or amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. I'll take my digital probe thermometer. Dude, bro, uh, Bobby loves Marianne's avocado oil at Costco. I do, I love it. And uh, Rose is sleeping for everyone who's out. Yeah, Rose is sleeping. It's kind of late for her. So look, I'll put it in here. Check out the temperature over here. We're still a bit low. Taylor Laverdier's on. She is a big fan. She's huge. Emphasis on the she. Oh, did, did we figure well, it out? Well, yeah, I was, she proved me wrong over the oh, weekend. Oh, okay, good to know. See, I had a feeling it was a she and you called that a he. Called her a he. I was like, wait, what? I apologize. So this one, oh, this one's actually a little warmer. This one's 123. Almost done. And this, so these are almost done. But that's why having the probe thermometer is just such a good idea. So I'm going to put it back on the fleshy side. And then we'll mix the easiest. Look at this, Art, once again. Look at the color. I feel like most people miss out on this because when you actually get crispy skin, the first question I get on uh, Instagram stories is, can you eat the skin? Yes. What, do you, what do you say to that, Art? I say, you're offending me if you don't. Yeah, it's crispy, it's delicious. A lot more omega-3s are in there and it offers some texture. It's really, really lovely. So yeah, of course you can eat it, but it's not fun to eat it when it's uh, soggy, right? So let's... Take the temperature one more time here. Maggie B also wanted to point out that she is a she as well. Hey, I figured Maggie B was a she. There was a picture of the beach. Of the what? Well, Taylor has a picture of the beach. Oh. Maggie's got a picture of herself. So check out what's going on here. I'm just taking, this is pretty much done. 127 for this, 126. I want it to be medium rareish on the inside. We'll go literally one more minute on there. Then we're good to go. And I might as well clean this now. And then I'll make a little salad. I have a big box of uh, organic spring mix from Aldi. So actually the video yesterday was supposed to be a really cool Aldi haul that Art and I filmed last week during the craziness. 
but I figured people didn't want to see a regular haul video during what's going on right now. So that's why Desi Rose and I, when we were out for a walk Saturday, filmed that video of the panic shopping at uh, Walmart and Trader Joe's. So it was more timely, I felt like. And that's why we went to Costco yesterday and uh, did a panic grocery shopping there to see what they have at the warehouse because it's a little more appropriate for the times. I'm hoping once things calm down, we can, because we have this Aldi video and then three more Aldi videos, a breakfast, a lunch, a dinner haul with recipes. We're going to film the recipe portions on Wednesday and they're great budget recipes that are top quality. I just want to make sure people are around to see it, right? Because something weird happened on Friday, Saturday, views on YouTube fell off a cliff because everyone was out prepping and they started coming back on Sunday, which is really interesting because I feel like people had to go out and shop, but now I think more people are going to be home. Do you think more people will be home watching videos now that they're going to quarantine and can't go to work and school? Because that's kind of my thinking, right? Where's Johnny P? Uh, Johnny's uh, home. It's a little late for him. And to be honest, we're not going to have him over for dinner that much in the near term because he lives in a senior building down the street, meaning he's probably high risk for Corona. And while he's not sick, he might be a carrier and we don't want him around Rose right now because of that. So much to my chagrin, I'll go work with work out with him at the gym, but um, we're not gonna have him come over for dinner just to protect Rose. Courtney Morris, $4.99, what is a good fish for me to eat that is not fishy? I don't like the smell or texture. Yeah, so I'm gonna say, honestly, farm-raised salmon is great. Arctic char is great and white fish is great. Those three would be a fantastic. Now, thanks, Lyra. Let's just go in I'll here. Here's how easy the salmon I'll is, the salad is. It's gonna be this, and it's gonna be a Primal Kitchen vegan avocado oil dressing. Uh, this is the Costco size. We don't have it here in Chicago, but they sent it to me. And then let's just give a bowl. Let's switch sides, Art. Right? You go behind. Right. Once again, look, I'm so used to pulling this out. <laughs> And then salmon is just like steak, you guys. You have to let it rest, because if you cut into it right now, uh, it's too hot and the juices, and the juices won't run out, but you want the juices to kind of like redistribute a little bit, right? So this is, this was an amazing deal. It all had this huge one pound clam shell for uh, $4.49, which was like the best deal ever. And it's gonna be part of the lunch budget haul recipe um, because I'm gonna make a grilled chicken salad, which is gonna be really nice. I probably need to use this quick because it might go bad. So I find if your refrigerator is too cold, that stuff doesn't last long. Yeah, it almost like, freezes and gets yeah, worse, right? But I think part of the problem is this I'm not accusing your refrigerator being too cold. I'm just saying I've seen mine be too cold. Yeah, before. well, hopefully it lasts till Wednesday because I don't wow. want to go back there and have to buy Sasha more. Sasha Peterson just gave you $10. I work at Sam's Club and it's been insane. We had to have the police officers manage the toilet paper due to fights breaking out. We That's... sold out. We sold out in seven minutes from opening the doors. Stay safe. Wow. Oh Was that this weekend or today too? Uh, yeah, clarified. But thank you for that super chat. Sasha. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Maybe I should go to Sam's Club and do a panic grocery haul there too. The funny thing is, I need a little bit of toilet paper. I did get uh, Kleenex and paper towels at uh, at uh, Costco. The whole weekend, she said. Wow, interesting. Because I went to the Costco in Oak Brook, and it was actually dead. The parking lot was less than half full, and it was not that crowded. Sunday, my Costco parking lot didn't look too bad. Interesting. Yeah, the girl said that Friday was crazy. Yeah. I, I got gas. There was no line. First time in history. Because the one in Chicago, there's always a line. Morning, noon, and night. I did not wait at all. I was like, I might move out here just for that purpose. T. Was, Rose Lover wants to know if you can post the recipe for the salmon. Um, yeah, so if you search Flav City Crispy Skin Salmon, I have that recipe and just add cocoa powder, turmeric, smoked paprika, and thyme. Add those spices and you're good to go. Maggie needs sparing the squares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I posted that on Facebook. Yeah. Because the key for the crispy skin is storing it skin side up in the fridge. And when you add those uh, spices with some salt, it's, it's a game changer, right? It's a total game changer. So there's my salad. I said I was going to be too lazy to make it. Well, you shouldn't be too lazy to make that because that is crazy Perfect. easy. Okay, let's plate a plate, y'all. And then hashtag feed art will live. I was going to do something with nuts, but I don't, I don't think we need it. So, where's the Facebook Live for Thermomix? 
is done. We did it. It's going to be, well, it wasn't five o'clock, but I'm going to do it every Friday for the next four Friday. weeks or something. Uh, every Monday at five o'clock on the Thermomix USA page. Just follow me on Instagram stories. That's where I can give you the most info for that. And it's fun, right? Not as many people as we have, but it's still fun. The recipe for the bread that you made earlier. Um, yeah, that is, so this is the one that's going about to go in. That's on their platform only. I could give you a 30 day free trial, but it's, it's made to mix in here, but you can actually do it in a, a blender too. Uh, let me work on that. Jan says, if you put a towel on top of salad greens, it stays fresher longer. A paper towel or what? A uh, paper towel on top of the salad greens. Oh, interesting. Let me do that right now. So I would do what? Do I would go wet it or do you just put it in there dry? That's what I'm, I'm guessing about. dry because it'll wick away the moisture. Wick, wick, wick away now. So uh, tell me if I'm doing Alton this right. Brown. Alton Brown had the good strategy for storing greens. Really? Yeah. Put them in a Ziploc bag, suck out the air, roll them oh, up yeah. in paper towels, suck out the air with a straw and zip it up. So you're thinking like this, Jen, is that how I do it? Everyone, oh, people are saying dry. Oh, Sierra Mo, five dollars. Whoa, thank I'm convinced you. Convinced that keto is definitely the way to go. You've inspired me to get in the kitchen and be a healthy yes, home Yes, thank cook. you, thank Sierra. You. It's the only way to go. So paper towel and turn it over. Uh, oh, there's Erica. Erica's on the stream. Nice paper towel and turn it like this. Okay, that makes sense. It wicks away the moisture. Cool. Wick it away. Wick it away now. <laughs> nice. I like that. <laughs> Not too much room in here, but. Very cool, because it was starting to get a little too moist in there. Now, let's plate our beautiful salmon and everything. We take our butternut squash puree here. This is my favorite thing, making the restaurant swoosh. You guys know I love that. One, two, three. Oh, it's just so satisfying. It's Rebecca's just- guys liking the chili peppers reference. <laughs> well, th actually, thank you for saying that, Art, because now I can go in here. Oh, yeah. And I can oh, get yeah, my- Red hot chili pepper. Bow, 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 Lena, bow, 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 $2, bow, bow. feed art. Love you guys. <laughs> thank you, Lena. Red hot chili pepper, baby. Where I go, I just don't know. All right, then we'll take uh, a beautiful piece of our Moe salmon here. Plop it down right yonder. Take a nice bunch of our Encelata Verde. Got that great, great bass line from Flea in that song in my head. Oh, it's such a good one, right? And then you, why not? Let's just take, we have the, uh, I love how easy this dinner's thrown together. We have a little bit of sunflower seeds. Garnish on there for some crunch. Because if you're not on Team Crunch. You're not on our bunch. And then we take a little bit of our Red Hot Anthony Kiedis peppers here. Not too much spicy. Just the right amount of heat and color. Because look at this. Oh my God, this is a beautiful plate of dinner. Can I get some love? Can I see some thumbs up across the board for... Cocoa and turmeric spice crusted Norwegian farm salmon, butternut squash maple puree, and a beautiful spring green salad. It looks delicious. I, and honestly, guys, it, I thought in my head it was going to look pretty. It looks so much better. And once again, I can't stress enough how much I want you to try out this top quality Norwegian farm salmon from Moe. Amazon Fresh, the link is down below, or just go on your Amazon Fresh account, search the meat and seafood, go here. Don't think of farm salmon with negative. The bad stuff is bad, like I said. The good stuff like this from Norway, a top Norwegian producer, is healthy, 20% richer in omega-3 fatty acids, and the only one I've ever heard in the world that is not frozen. It's fresh, and waits you taste it, it's phenomenal. And you don't have to go to the grocery store and be beat up by someone else. You can order and be on your house in two days fresh. So, we got a super chat and then Art is gonna eat right now. Sarah Matulich, $2.99 with a pear that is giving you a thumbs up that's well done. I mean, it varies. I think it's like 25 to $30, but it, it varies and it's worth it. All right, without further ado, it is that time of the show called Hashtag Feed Art. I'm only following orders. People have been telling me left and right, Art, get in there. Art, get well, in there. Art is a man who listens to there. orders. Everyone say hello to the one and only Arthur T. Almasy. Not I the should, first. I should have put not the, the mic on the outside here. I've got a long <laughs> The leash. third. All right. Do you recommend a combined flavors or just try a little bit I recommend, of recommend. I recommend trying it by itself first. Okay, yeah. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. I can't get over the color. That's restaurant quality Ooh. salmon. That dish at a restaurant would be $32. It's going to a little bit of the puree, but that's all right. That's, we'll get over it. Oh, thank you, Griselda. Which is gracias. Perfect bites is Maggie. Mm. Got some complex flavor going on there. Right? Wow, that's very deep thoughts from Art. Well, right? Oh my, even Desi's like, what? 
the flavor profile is through the roof. <laughs> oh, yeah, you didn't think I'd say that, did you? Oh, no, that's good. That the cocoa powder right? is really doing something there. Hey, cocoa powder. The cocoa powder is where it's at. It's like there's a party in your mouth and everyone's invited. This is invited. Oh, Erica, you're too I'm sweet. Good. <laughs> I'll try the salad. My friend, Happy everything Erica right? is on the stream. Make sure to follow Welcome her on Erica. Instagram. Yeah, Erica's here. Everything Wish Erica. You were here. <laughs> your first YouTube donation. Thank you. Art and I are worth it. Push out. Yeah, Johnny P, he's okay, Taylor. We just don't want him over because he lives in a senior building and he might be a carrier of the virus and it's a little dangerous for uh, Rose. Exactly. Erica is the air fryer queen. Ah, oh, it's funny. Um, yeah, delicious stuff. Isn't that nice, Art? It's good. It's good. And Art's t-shirt, in case you're saying, says that. From Chewy's. Chewy's. Tex-Mex. <laughs> yes. I do not have to. This is the first live stream uh, Erica's been on, I think. Wow. Welcome, Erica and Dan and uh, Elia. Hope all is good in Florida. Yes. Yes, indeed. So that's the recipe. For the salmon, just search Flavor City Crispy Skin Salmon. Add the raw cacao, turmeric, smoked paprika, and thyme. For the puree, search Flav City Sweet Potato Mash and just use butternut squash or sweet potato. Whoa, you lace, just got lovely. $4.99. I tell people you're who taught me to cook chicken correctly. Sure. Well, I am the number Too one high. how to cook chicken on YouTube. So thank you very much. That's a huge honor. I appreciate that. Uh, so we're going to plate up everything yeah. here. Uh, once again, dish, yeah, make the dish. And once again, I know it's crazy in the grocery store to get this quality salmon delivered to your house. Try it out. We have a video coming out next Monday. We made uh, salmon burgers with the salmon today. No joke, it was the best salmon burger I've ever made. It's on my Instagram story if you want to check it out. I'm going to use the Moe salmon. So uh, we'll be back on Friday night for a hashtag. Fridays with Flav. And in the meantime, we're going to crank. We're going to make videos. We're going to work our butts off. Stay safe um, and get healthy. Uh, get some healthy food. And we'll be back pretty soon. Until then, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Now that was a fun Monday cooking stream. Later, guys. See ya.